okay let's start recording and uh, so we have a situation where we want to have a drop down like this and this data should come from a data page so how to do it so for that first we go here data types create a data type called vendor information okay add some fields to it like address contact number name and we are using the drop down where we will load all the names okay then go to the records add the records to this and we will our drop down will have all these values okay so once you create this go to the usage you will find a data page as are getting created so we will have one uh, vendor information data page which will have only one one row of this data and uh, vendor information list which will have information of all the table all the data in the table okay so how to populate a drop, drop down Let's go to your case open your case okay open the process from the vendor names this is our section called add a section to it called vendor names add a drop down once you add a drop down select the property go to the data page select the property select the proper data page submit so this property here how it has been added so for that this is a vendor name property which i have created on the work class because it is in the vendor work class of vendor information so to create that go to the application this is our work class create a vendor name property which of type which is of type single page to the data class from which we are going to fetch and uh, as i said earlier give those details then uh, when you run the case here you can see all the details you will be coming up 